today topic is deep learning applications with matlab here uh, so some of, some introduction about uh, this uh, matlab what is artificial intelligence what is ma machine learning what is deep learning here uh, extend deep learning workflows with with the use of computer vision image processing automated driving signals audio audio processing text analytics and computational finance also possible with this matlab not only for uh, this pytorch and some other uh, tensor flow uh, frameworks also there here also uh, matlab supports uh, open source uh, deep learning frameworks uh, enabling students to apply tensor tensor flow pytorch and other popular frameworks in their matlab deep learning projects these are all the uh, free courses are available in matlab uh, website here what is matlab deep learning toolbox here deep learning toolbox in toolbox is nothing but the matlab uh, software having a lot of toolbox particularly for the particular domain for example if you are deep learning applications mean deep learning toolbox is there image processing applications means image processing application toolbox is there here um, we are we are going to use deep learning toolbox to design train and analyze deep learning networks here in the a deep learning toolbox provides a framework for designing and implementing deep neural networks with algorithms and pre-trained pre models already available there and also some interactive apps are also available for uh, this deep learning neural networks design here a uh, lot of uh, neural networks pre-trained neural networks pre-trained models and also inbuilt algorithms are available in deep learning toolbox this call is now being recorded. Uh, we can use con convolution neural networks and long, long short term uh, networks lstm networks used to perform classification and regression on image on video and also uh, time series and text data for text data we are, we, are, we are going to mention about the natural language processing then next one is we can build network architectures such as a gans network that is a generative adversarial uh, networks and uh, cms networks using automatic differentiations and the custom training loops and shared weights also uh, with the deep neural network design app um, matlab every toolbox having some interactive apps are available here we have important app, apps are there by using this apps uh, app without programming knowledge without any uh, coding knowledge you can use this type of uh, apps are available in uh, here by using this deep ne deep network designer app we can design modify train any type of uh, deep neural net networks so that we can design analyze and train networks graphically in the form of graphical form you can see and the experimental manager app one more another important app in uh, deep learning toolbox the experiment manager app helps to manage multiple deep learning experiments and also keep tra tracking of uh, training parameters analyze results and compare code from different experiments also and also we can uh, visualize uh, layer activations and graphically monitor the training progress here normally the 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 processor having the training training processor take so much more time for training and validation period here why we are why we are going to use matlab for uh, deep learning um, normally the these are a commercial software why we, are, why we are going to do but we can use uh, ten, ten, tensorflow and any any type of open source fr framework what is the recent top five reasons to use matlab for deep learning is matlab has interactive deep learning apps for labeling for example if you if you are going to identify the objects in real time or uh, real time video or real time um, uh, captured image you can use the app for, for example this is car this is uh, this is bike in this manner you can uh, label the images also once once you label the images if any 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 type of objects move means it shows the label this is a this is a car in this in this manner you can see this includes signal data audio data images and the video uh, matlab supports this is a onnx to import this is a one type of uh, model one type of framework you can use uh, once you design the design in this onnx to import and export models between other frameworks also a model designed in pytorch for example can be brought into matlab and models trained in matlab can be expected using the onnx framework the next one what are the things we can do with this matlab is a various stages for example importing and pre-processing pre-processing the images is an important one in uh, image processing 
then importing pre-trained model already developed model like google net alex net so, so many physio net for example uh, the uh, large amount of database available in website also here also you can already these are all already pre-trained model you can also import the pre-trained models for your uh, uh, application based on your application or based on your projects then training models with gpus not only for the cpus also you can use the graphical processing units also good. the next one debug, debugging deep learning results you can also uh, uh, debugging the debug, debug means if there is any error means you can uh, change uh, change the change uh, change or modify the error correct the error by using this debugger once you are training and the du during the training also you can uh, modify your input input layers input and input layers and hidden layers also also then final step is deploying deep learning models to hardware including embedded gpus once you go for uh, real time real time applications you need to apply them apply your algorithm or apply your design uh, to the particular boards particular board particular uh, gpus are there so that you can directly embed 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 on your project uh, project into a embedded gpus the next one the basic thing once what is uh, artificial intelligence what is machine learning what is deep learning here in the artificial intelligence a technique that enables machines to mimic human uh, intelligence all are know very well about artificial intelligence then next one is uh, just another one uh, machine learning machine learning is a statistical methods that enables machines to learn tasks from the data without uh, explicitly programming the, the the top one is the now the trending one is the deep learning the deep learning is a type of machine learning in which a model learns to perform classification tasks directly from the images or text or sound is a image means image processing text means any natural language processing and sound means the signal processing the next one the deep learning is usually implemented using a neural network architecture this is the best best thing is design of a neural network the term deep refers number of layers in the network deep means number of layers more then the more layers the deeper the network the traditionally previous previous neural networks are traditional networks are contains only two or three layers uh, uh, while deep deep networks can have hundreds of layers what is that uh, this uh, table shows what is the machine learning what is the uh, deep learning here machine learning good results with the small data sets where, where compared compare to your deep learning requires a very large uh, data sets then machine learning having the quick to train a model computationally intensive because uh, deep learning have more number of uh, layers flow more number of input layers depending upon the uh, your uh, data set so that uh, not able to not able to uh, train quickly the next one need to try different features and classifies to achieve best results in machine learning whereas uh, deep learning learns features and classifies automatically what is for example one one, one uh, first one is a feature extra extraction image image input data set feature extraction then classifications here in this deep learning process we can learn the features and classifies automatically here accuracy is more in machine learning accuracy is unlimited in deep learning here uh, some in, uh, some uh, detail about deep learning deep learning is a subset of machine learning with machine learning you manually extract the relevant features of an image there is a uh, but if you go for deep learning you can uh, get the uh, features automatically with deep learning you feed the raw images directly into a deep neural network that learns the features automatically what is the difference between machine learning and deep learning deep learning is a uh, specialized form of uh, machine learning a machine learning workflow starts with relevant features being manually extracted from the images man you can extract in machine learning can extract the images manually the features are then used to create a model that categorizes the objects in the image whereas if we go for uh, with the deep learning workflow the relevant features are automatically extracted from the images in addition deep learning performs end to end uh, learning where a network is given raw data and the task to perform such as classification and it learns how to do this automatically another uh, key advantage of uh, deep learning network is uh, that they often continue to improve as the size of your uh, data is increases now uh, this slide shows uh, deep learning fundamentals with matlab import import the data that is pre processing the data 
and the next next one build build the neural network build the deep neural network uh, import or um, build the network here you can also import the network from pre trained models the train the ne next next step, step is train your network train your network and tune your, tune the network and visualize the and verify the results finally you export the result to the network deep neural network output these are input uh, input input neuron is are all hidden 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 neuron is an output neuron if, if you go for um, machine learning these blocks are not available tune network and visualize and verify the results and also these are all not available that's an, a difference between um, machine learning or uh, a neural network traditional neural networks pre process data for uh, deep network training training using command line functions and also with the interactive apps the, the, the first step is a pre process data for deep neural network training using command you can give the command into the into the matlab window the next one import pre trained networks from matlab or um, external platforms such as uh, tensorflow tensorflow keras pytorch and onnx then build networks using command line build networks uh, using command line functions or interactively using the uh, deep new, uh, deep network uh, designer app the improve the network performance by tuning what is the in, the in this stage the fourth one is a uh, improve tune network performance by tuning the hyper parameters or running multiple trials using the experiment manager app here there are two two different type of apps are used for in the deep learning first one is the uh, deep neural network designer app the next one is the Man manage, manage, manager app, experiment manager app. Uh, these are the two important apps are available in deep learning network, network uh, toolbox. Then visualize and verify network behavior during and after training. Here we are in this, uh, this one visualize and verify results uh, during and after training. Then final one is uh, export networks to external platforms such as TensorFlow2 and uh, ONNX. Here we can see the deep learning applications in the various uh, domain uh, with a such, such uh, just a few lines of MATLAB code we can incorporate uh, deep learning into uh, deep learning into your applications whether you are designing algorithms preparing and labeling data or generating code and other, uh, and deploying to embedded systems. The, in the area there are different areas are available here the first one is a signal processing area here we can acquire and analyze signals and the time series data and next one computer vision acquire pro acquire process and analyze images uh, and video the next one deep reinforcement reinfor learning here you can define train and deploy uh, reinforce uh, enforcement uh, learning policies and another one is deep learning for radar here you can apply artificial intelligence techniques to radar applications and the next one uh, well, lidar sensor nowadays we are going uh, automated uh, autonomous system uh, autonomous system design where uh, so lidar sensor data here apply artificial uh, intelligence techniques to lidar applications and ai for wireless there is a wireless apply AI techniques to wireless communication applications. Now we are see, we are going to see the one by one applications with some examples. The first one, deep learning applications with MATLAB. That is a AI for signal processing. Signal processing means any type of um, signals, uh, audio. It may be audio signal or it may be video signal, so that we can uh, build and uh, deploy domain specific uh, artificial intelligence systems that process and model the signals. We are going with uh, AI model AI with deep learning means it offers uh, more opportunities to improve signal processing systems for various real world real world signals such as biomedical and audio. You can use MATLAB products to interactively explore and create pre process the data, engineer engineering engineering features, build AI models and deploy AI, AI systems. Here in the signal processing, these are all the things are there steps are there first access, access and acquire the signals that is a input data to get the input data from any data store or your uh, own database the next process is pre-process and label the signals the another process is and transform signals and extract the features you can extract the features from the particular images the next one 
the next one train a model next one ai model train the training training here there is there are there are some different types of uh, training algorithms are there by using the training algorithm we can train the ai model then deploy ai systems i deploy your design to a particular uh, deployment device here this is a uh, link available in um, mathx website here deploying Signal processing examples are available here. Just to go through that. After after uh, break, we are going to see with the real time overall having MATLAB overall having system. No need to install any type of software. We can use MATLAB online. The next to next uh, next to the area is deep learning for computer vision. Here, what is a computer vision task is acquire, process and analyze images and videos. Then in the important. Um, process in the uh, image processing is semantic segments segmentation ob object uh, detections and the image recognition computer vision applications integrated with deep learning provides advanced algorithms with deep learning accuracy these are all the important thing whether you are go for deep learning or not, deep learning or machine learning you can choose um, based on your project based on your uh, area then matlab provides uh, environment to design create and integrate deep learning models with the computer vision applications here you can uh, easily get started with specialized functionality for computer vision such as image and video labeling, labeling apps here also some more in in this particular uh, computer vision uh, tool you can uh, label 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 the uh, label on the image or label on the videos also there some more, some more interactive apps are available here so that you can you um, label your image then next one is image data store to handle large amount of data for training testing and validation the third one image and computer vision specific pre processing techniques then uh, ability to um, import deep learning models from tensorflow keras and pytorch for image recognition the third one the de informers learning what is uh, de deep reinforcement learning it is a one type of machine learning technique that enables to implement controllers and decision making systems these are the challenges are there in uh, uh, decision making systems you can imp implement the new type of controllers and also uh, such as for the for the complex systems such as uh, robots and autonomous system nowadays the robots are checking the uh, checking and um, uh, make the decision decision also there for example if you are, if you are designed for uh, autonomous um, or automated driving systems it also uh, uh, give the way for give the time uh, uh, give the time it takes a decision where we are go going to fast where you are going to slow in this in this manner and the the de enforcement learning methods uh, learning method uh, is used in the robots uh, designing and autonomous systems unlike other machine learning techniques there are there is no need for predefined training data sets here in deep learning only we can use predefined training data sets if available in websites then labeled and uh, like google net alex net and so lot of resnet lots of uh, data sets are available for your uh, images or uh, videos then next one labeled are un unlabeled by using this um, deep, deep uh, reinforcement learning matlab app you can run through the complete workflow for designing and deploying a decision making system the next one getting started with the deep reinforcement learning using examples for simple control system design autonomous systems and robotics and scheduling problems the next one quickly switch evaluate and compare popular reinforcement learning algorithms with only minor code changes by using this uh, deep neural network to define complex deep uh, reinforcement learning policies based on image video and sensor data like uh, lidar lidar sensor data the fourth one on the deep learning applications with matlab ai for radar we are we are going uh, artificial intelligence techniques may be applied to the radar applications simulate radar signals to train machine and deep learning models for target and signal classification when you go for um, ai radar you can 
label the signals collected from radar systems using the signal labeler app. The next one augment data sets by simulating radar waveforms and echoes from objects with a range of uh, cross sections, uh, radar cross sections. The next one, the important, important features are uh, simulate micro Doppler, uh, Doppler signature of hand gestures and animated objects with non-rigid bodies such as helicopters, pedestrians and bicycle, bicyclists. Also you can by using this MATLAB um, for uh, radar applications apply identification and classification workflows to the public data set you can also export your uh, uh, task is to public data sets the next one is a deep learning for lidar another application of this uh, deep learning applications with matlab is deep learning for lidar this is a lidar sensor here apply artificial uh, techniques to lidar applications here here also you can uh, train test and deep learning, uh, deep learning networks on lidar point clouds these are lidar point clouds for object direction direction and semantic segmentations what you have to do with this matlab simulating you can pre process the lidar point clouds for applying uh, deep learning algorithms use the lidar labeler app you can label the lidar point clouds for object detections the next one handle large amount of data for training testing and validation with the data stores then generate C, C++ and the CUDA code for deep learning workflows for uh, semantic segmentation and the object directions on a point cloud of data. Another area is on the uh, research techniques in AI for wireless. It is apply AI techniques to wireless communications applications. Here by using this uh, AI for wireless app, okay, by using this deep learning toolbox you can use generate training data in the form of synthetic and over the air signals using wireless waveform generator app here also one interactive app is there for uh, design the wireless waveform then augment uh, signal space by adding rf impairments and uh, channel models uh, to your generated signals then next one is a label signals collected from wireless systems using the signal labeler app the app is nothing but at the time of uh, and on session we can see what are, what is meant by app what are, what are the things we are to discuss we are uh, do with this um, hands on session also the next one apply reusable and streamlined training simulation and uh, testing workflows to various wireless applications using the deep network designer and experiment manager apps here also in this uh, in this in this regard add custom layers to your deep learning designs you can add um, any any type of layers you can for, for your particular design here what is the deep neural network what inside a deep neural network here these are inputs these are all the input layer you are giving the input here this is here uh, the, uh, input layer these are all hidden layers these are output layers okay what is here three inputs and outputs a yeah, deep neural network combines multiple non-linear processing layers using simple elements operating in parallel inspired by biological nervous systems it consists of uh, net input layer, several hidden layers and then one output layer. These layers are interconnected via nodes or neurons with each uh, hidden layer using the output of the previous layer as its input. Here one more uh, example for existing network that is uh, getting started with the deep learning uh, slide. In this slide shows the Google Net. Google Net, Google Net is a most commonly used for image classifications um, for example if you are new in um, deep learning a quick and easy way to get started is to use an existing network such as google net and uh, convolution neural networks that is a cnn trained one trained on more than a million of images are there here uh, in this google net there are um, it, it can classify by using this google net google net uh, neural network uh, you can class classify images into thousand different categories including keyboards uh, computer mice pencil and other office equipments as well as various uh, breeds of dogs cats horses and other animals also there the next one previous one is a google net and the next one is a what is cnn this is another important um, network in deep learning here about convolution neural networks it is a feature detection layers the first one is a uh, the first part is a pre-processing data the next one is a feature detection the first step is the feature detection 
here this diagram shows these are the input side this is our feature direction side this is a classification side there are two different um, task is there input and feature direction these are all the future feature direction layers the, in the combination of convolution plus relu layer and pooling and convolution plus rlu and finally pooling these are all the sections called the feature extraction feature direction sections um, a, a convolution neural networks is a one one of the most popular algorithms for uh, deep learning with images and the video this layers performs one of three types of operations on the data convolution pooling are rectified linear unit this is uh, shortly known as uh, uh, relu layer this is a convolution what what uh, the convolution layer do convolution puts the images through a set of convolution filters each of which which, which acti activates certain features from the images the next one is a pooling part this is a simplifies the output by performing non linear down sampling which is used to reduce the number of parameters that networks need to learn about then a next layer this is a rectified linear unit layer allows faster and more effective training by mapping negative values to zero and maintaining positive values these are all the three operations are repeated over tens and hundreds of layers with each layer learning to detect different features these are important uh, part of uh, this convolution neural networks here the one of the popular algorithm for deep learning with images and uh, video next one classification layer previous one is a feature direction layer is the next one is a classification layers after feature direction the architecture of cnn shift to classification here the, the next layer the next to last layer is a fully connected layer this layer is called fully connected layers that outputs a vector of k dimensions where, where k, k is the number of classes that the network will be able to predict this vector uh, contains probabilities for each class of any type of images being classified for example his input is car car image after car classification you can get the result here it is car or it is truck or van in this manner it and the image may be classified in the final layer of the cnn architecture uses a soft max soft max function to provide the classification output up to up to now any, anyone having doubt means you can ask okay then name now how your deep neural networks learns the deep learning uh, these are uh, let's say uh, we have a set of images these are uh, these are all the set of images flower images filter input and output parts are there the images each image contains one of four categories one two three four categories of objects and we want to deep learning network to automatically recognize which object is uh, in each image in this way we can label the images here we can here label the images here in order to have a training data for the network the next one is uh, using the training data the network can then start to understand the object specification features each layers in the network takes in data from the previous layer previous layer uh, transform it and pass it on pass it on it here the network learns directly from the data these are input image these are convolution these are all the layer that is a um, um, feature extraction layers the third layer is a classification layers finally it, it gives the output this a fully output is fully connected with uh, to support the classification it is it shows the flower cup car tree these are all the uh, possible um, possibilities of, of outputs here there are uh, six common tasks to evaluate which of the technique uh, best apply uh, depending on your uh, pro project for example if you are choose your choose your domain domain it shows the uh, here um, um, we are list out six common tasks to evaluate the uh, techniques in deep learning which algorithm or um, which which technique we are going to apply depending on your project here you can see the video it shows the degradation detected predict the output based on historical or current data here you can see um, example for example use real time real time sensor data from a motor to predict remaining useful life for rotating machinery the, the similarity based uh, remaining useful lifetime estimation example uses linear regression technique here what is the application of this predicting the predicting an output is 
predictive maintenance and financial trading and recommender systems here what are the inputs inputs uh, there there in the project means the sensor data input center sensor data time stepped uh, financial data and numeric numeric data what are the common algorithms used in used to predict an output means linear regression algorithm and the decision tree algorithm support vector machine and neural networks association rules what type of approach we are going to use for when this project is machine learning is a more common one the next task is identify the objects by using ground tr truth leveler here you can uh, previously we discussed in this in this manner by using the matlab image lab uh, ground, ground truth leveler you can mark it as car once you uh, in the, uh, during this step you can design with car means automatically by, by using the streaming video or any type of images it, it, it gives the it is car it is um, uh, it is a post in this manner it shows if uh, this is identify the objects or actions in an image or any type of video or signal data but this example shows uh, computer vision applications that can detect the vehicles the object detection using faster rcn and deep learning example uses a convolution neural networks what are the applications in these identify objects means advanced driver assistance with object detections then robotics then computer vision perception for image recognition activity detection voice biometrics what are the inputs are possibly it is a image 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 signal or video signal or any type of signals a common algorithm used to identify the object detection is cnn algorithm and clustering algorithm and vj algorithms what type of uh, approach is used to used to identify the objects means by using this computer vision application deep learning is more common the third third task is move an object physically or in a simulation here for example perform a robotic path plan planning to learn the best possible route to a destination for example which one is the shortest distance based on that you can uh, design the robotic path also you can perform the robotic path planning to learn the best uh, possible route to a destinations what are the applications area is control systems robotics in robots in uh, manufacturing self driving cars drones and video games these are all the uh, possibilities are there what is the input mathematical models required uh, sensor data or video or uh, you know, lidar sensor data then what are the common algorithms used to find find out the um, object move physically or in a simulation cnn algorithm clustering algorithm and uh, again vj algorithms what are the typical approaches there are uh, four uh, four different approaches are there four different uh, neural neural net deep neural networks are used in here if you go for robotics um, the learning method is reinforcement learning deep uh, queue networks the next one is the previous one artificial neural networks and uh, convolution neural networks recurrent neural networks rnn and cnn cnn and finally the uh, deep uh, deep queue networks are called called as the reinforcement learning it is a it is a, it is a networks you can use move an object physically or in a simulation the fourth one is a uh, uncover trends sentiments fraud or threats for uh, what is means mean by these examples uh, determine how many topics are present in the text data this is under this is coming under natural language processing by using this matlab uh, deep learning toolbox you can go with natural language processing for safety records markets or medical research or sentiment analysis cyber security document summarizations here this example shows uh, determine how many topics are present in text data the analyzed text data using topics models example uses the latent uh, declared uh, allocation topic model lda topic model what are the possible inputs are there streaming text data or static text data what are the common algorithms used to um, uh, determine how many topics are present in the uh, uh, text data rnns linear regression support vector machines uh, naive bayes uh, latent uh, discrete uh, allocation latent semantic analysis and where to vector what is the typical uh, typical approach used to used to uh, determine this text based um, applications machine learning is more common on the next one 
another task is if you go for image processing enhance images and signals for example create high resolution images from low resolution images the single image uh, uh, super resolution uh, using deep learning examples uses a very deep uh, su uh, super resolution neural network uh, shortly known as vdsr neural network for example if you see reference high resolution Im uh, image patch these are the possible talks are there by before pre processing and feature uh, feature extraction and classification you can see this is rgb color space luminous y, mo y model upscaled row resolution image patch these are a low resolution after deep learning you can get this type of output here these are a residual image patch create a high resolution image from a low resolution image uh, to improve the image resolution denoise uh, signals in audio also by using this applications there is a vdsr neural network deep neural network what are the common algorithm behind this image processing is lstm long uh, long short term memory and cnns and again this vdsr neural network network very deep super resolution neural network typical approach is deep learning is the best one the next one respond to speech or text commands based on the context and learned routines another uh, applications by using this uh, deep neural network with um, response to speech this automatically this is a, uh, this this like shows the, the example shows automatically recognize spoken commands like on off stop and go this speech command recognition using deep learning uh, example uses a convolution neural network the next one what are the applications are uh, use means customer care calls here itself you can automated call you can um, set set to the customer customer care calls smart devices and virtual assistants machine translation and di dictation here also you can uh, use this um, another task is the respond to speech or text commands based on the context and learned routines what are the inputs are there uh, acoustic data or it may be text data what are the common algorithms uh, used here means rnn uh, neural networks yeah, LSTM algorithm in particular CNN and where to vector what are the uh, typical approach uh, approach for this type of project is machine and both uh, machine and deep learning if you, if you are having MATLAB uh, software in your uh, system means simply deep learning in 11 lines of MATLAB code here you can use uh, your webcam and uh, deep neural networks to identify the objects in your surroundings if you are having, I will share the codes, just 11, 11 lines only there, in the 11 lines, there is a clear clear line and end line, maybe there is a 9 lines for, um, uh, enough for uh, doing your deep planning with MATLAB to for finding the objects, identify the objects in your surrounding. With MATLAB, a yeah, sim simple webcam and a deep neural networks to identify objects in your surroundings. Okay. Uh, what's the first command is camera equal to webcam in this MATLAB um, software you need to enter these commands one by one clear camera equal to webcam what is the uh, line shows means it connects the camera next one nnet and alexnet the alexnet uh, alexnet is a pre-defined pre-trained model uh, image uh, data store is use use this alexnet to recognize objects with your webcam so that it can by by after this command the load the neural network while true picture is camera snapshot if you take the picture and re it also resize the picture by using this command picture equal to im resize and classify the pictures label the uh, label or classify neural network picture and image picture show the pictures and finally you give the label what is the what is this one here uh, in this in this um, image it shows the pomegranate it show it, it also it give, give the labels after the training the data uh, training it shows the pomegranate it, it, is a, it gives the pomegranate it is a pomegranate in this way it shows the label by using this 11 lines you can implement deep learning and there are some more examples are uh, we are going to discuss um, after the break then there are may, many design challenges that can be solved with uh, this deep learning with AI particularly for wireless communication applications 
here uh, digital pre distortion using deep learning uh, application to compensate for environmental changes those are all doing with uh, those are all going to do um, research or um, uh, those are all pursuing phd in wireless communication by using this uh, matlab deep learning uh, toolbox you can select this type of uh, area for uh, for ai for wireless applications here the one of the challenges are uh, um, challenges can challenges can be solved with this type of ai techniques this is a digital pre distortion using deep learning to compensate for environmental changes affecting power amplifier operations the next uh, next one is next task is beam selection using deep learning if you go for this uh, design to reduce the computational complexity and resource overhead the third one is beam selection using a deep q network reinforcement learning agent to reduce the complexity of a beam search nowadays we are go uh, going with 5g and 6g these are all the beam selection are important or automatically you can use this um, deep learning method apply the ai techniques to the uh, deep q network to reduce the complexity of beam search the next another uh, important uh, design challenge is uh, detect log likelihood ratios using deep learning to reduce the computational comp 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 complexity here there are some more uh, uh, some more the uh, examples we are going to see spectrum sensing using deep learning to support different spectral frequencies then modulation classification using deep learning to account for varying channel conditions the first one is a spectrum sensing um, by using uh, deep learning to support the different spectral frequencies the next example is a modulation classification using deep learning to account for uh, varying ch channel conditions the next one is auto encoder using uh, deep learning to improve the re reliability the fourth one is the important one channel state information feedback with auto encoder neural networks to compress a downlink csi agent uh, the downlink downlink csi uh, sent to our wireless channel these are the important uh, use of this en auto encoder neural networks these are all famous one the next one detect wireless lan uh, router uh, impersonation using deep learning to improve the security these are all the challenges are um, uh, solved solved by using this ai for wireless applications particularly we are using the networks that is either a vdsr network or a dqn network there are so many networks networks are available network layers are available for this particular wireless communication based on exam uh, exactly for spectrum sensing modulation classifications and the auto encoders and wireless router impersonation using this uh, deep learning method is to improve the security and improve the reliability um uh, to, to support the different uh, spectral frequencies also this another example we are going to see with this one um, spectrum sensing with deep learning 5g lte example when you go for uh, the hands on session i will share the uh, code what we are um, uh, uh, it is it is uh, you need to uh, type in command window so that we can uh, get the example we can directly we can run is there another example modulation classification with deep learning my previous one this example is a one more example spectrum sensing uh, using deep learning to support different spectral uh, frequencies in this title we are going to discuss now spectrum sensing with deep learning to identify 5g and lte signals long term evolution signals these examples uh, shows how to train a semantic segmentations network using deep learning for spectrum monitoring the next one is uh, one of the uses of uh, spectrum monitoring is to characterize uh, spectrum occupancy the neural network in this example is trained to identify 5g new radio there is nrs new radio and long time evolution signals 5g nr and lte signals in a wide band spectrogram the next example for ai for wireless is modulation classification with deep learning so modulation classification using deep learning to account for varying channel conditions in this example you can you can type in this matlab software in in command window you just you need to type this command after that you will get the 
example for this one this example shows how to use a convolution neural network for modulation classification here you can generate synthetic channel impaired waveforms using the generator waveforms as a training data and also you can train a convolution neural network for modulation classifications after classification you can test the cnn with software defined radio hardware over the air signals here uh, this example uh, ai techniques is applied to the wireless communication projects similarly we will discuss with the direct wireless lan router imp impersonation direct wireless router impersonation with uh, deep learning to improve the security this is a command to get this example uh, this example shows how to design a radio frequency uh, fingerprinting convolution neural network with simulated data also by using this example you can uh, analyze the simulated wireless local area networks beacon frames from known and unknown uh, routers for rf fingerprinting then you then compare the media media access control that is a mac mac address of uh, received signals and rf uh, fingerprint detected by the cnn to detect wireless lan router impersonators these are the examples we are going to see from um, deep learning for image processing examples here uh, by, by, by clicking this url you can get this type of uh, examples here um, um, after 10 minutes we are going uh, we are going to see with matlab online just you uh, now i am uh, clicking the um, put the drop the message in and the uh, chat box here these are uh, url used to matlab online here for that simple uh, registration in the break time uh, go, go with this url just to register through your gmail after that you can uh, get the matlab online no need to install any any matlab software uh, any software software under your uh, laptop or your desktop <coughs> you easily you can access these are the things i uh, just i want to view this one in chat box i will post this one those are all having sufficient internet you, you can use this matlab you can see uh, this matlab online if anybody having a laptop means kindly uh, go with this link you can get you just to follow the steps you will get the matlab online where you are going uh, when, otherwise you just go to matlab online in this matlab online you can see the, you can get this window that is a this uh, url only i sent to uh, via uh, chat box here start matlab online just you, you need to click here here there are three different uh, already i am registering so that it shows the folders open Mat matlab online it's a basic one it takes some more time if you have uh, internet facility or faster uh, bandwidth means you will get faster <laughs> okay these are all the uh, this is the uh, exact matlab uh, window model these are the menu bar these are the menu bars available here warm warm plot warm bar, warm, uh, bar plots apps here we, we discuss now what are the uh, interactive apps are available here means these are if you drop down click the drop down list based on the application there is a machine learning and deep learning application there are interactive apps are there classification learner app deep network designer app experiment manager app this type of apps are available uh, depending on my upon your area you can choose this exact uh, particular app here this is our uh, matlab drive here here uh, here you can save any uh, much, much much amount of uh, data but not possible to import uh, import the uh, result to your uh, folder your uh, uh, hard disk drive only you can see as a google drive matlab drive also used to store your data here this is a matlab drive example this is your 
editor window. If you click on this one, home. Here, these are a lot of available. Sir, there are a lot of uh, options are available for both Simulink and script file, MATLAB script file. Here, new script means you can see the new script. Here, here itself you can type the type your programs. Okay. Similarly, another another one more uh, thing is Simulink. By using Simulink, you can um, no need to type any 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 programs here some particular predefined inbuilt bl functions blocks are there by using the function blocks you can design any type of networks sir we will take the uh, break sir after break we will uh, do otherwise if you are anyone having doubt uh, regarding this matlab online means you can uh, sh share your doubts